SOLIDWORKS 2010 allows you to work smarter and faster, and we've done this in many different ways, but one of the ways is to add depth of functionality to the common commands. This is true in, throughout the product, including plastic design. You can see one of the commands we've added quite a bit of depth to is our lip groove command. Um, it now allows me to pick multiple faces, even if they're discontinuous, to run the, um, the lip on, the lip or groove on. And you can see how easy it is to apply. I pick multiple faces, I key in the lip parameter, and then I just have to select the different segments of the edges which I want to run the lip profile. It's an extremely powerful command. We'll give it a second to generate the lip. And you'll notice that we've also added some other options to handle challenging cases. Let me improve the clarity of this lip so we can take a closer look. So you can see where I have a rib intersecting the edge, I have a small gap. And that's, uh, that's what's expected because the, the edge terminates at that rib. But we have, in the same command, the ability now to jump gaps. So just by toggling that option, you can see the result. It will now run the lip continuously along that edge, jumping that small gap. So once again, SOLIDWORKS 2010 is going to allow you to work smarter and faster give you those predictable results, and the added depth to the command will allow you to do more with less steps.